Hey guys, it's the Solar Clock and today in today's Monster Analysis video we're going to be going over Yoshi-sama and I'm going to be telling you guys whether or not you should get him out of his current bounty hunt. So let's go and get right into it. Alright, so if you guys didn't know, Yoshi-sama is actually available in the bounty hunt right now. And he is going to be available inside of the bag so that you get when you defeat the bounty or when you just pick them up when you're going through the grid. So yeah, it is pretty decently easy to get and I'm making this video so that I can tell you guys why you should definitely get him because he is pretty great. So Yoshi-sama is a support and his traits are stun immunity, blind immunity, and team precision. His traits are just kind of bad. So don't really worry about that too much. And his relics are staff and banner which are actually pretty great. So yeah, don't really worry about ranking him up for the trades, but yeah, his relics are really, really great. Now let's go on down to his pros and cons. So his pros are great speed, metal and a light meta, good relics, good supporting and torture removal, torture immunity, damage and accuracy boosts, and then low cooldowns and stamina costs. So these are some pretty great pros pros he does have a lot of supporting stuff which is of course very good for his support and torture removal is of course very important and so is torture immunity that is always a plus and damage and accuracy boost make him really good for bounty hunts and his cons are no ner situational trait except status caster below average life and all of his set of moves are vulnerable to positive effect removal since of course they add effects onto the allies so let's go down to the moveset to see what exactly they're talking about with that. So he does have an ally triple damage with precision, which is really great. That is actually a really good move, especially for bounty hunts. And then he has a team remove tortures, which is pretty decent, I guess. So that's honestly kind of situational. And then he has an ally double damage with torture immunity, which is pretty good. And then his last one is an AOE water damage with team damage boost, which is okay. It would be better if it was like double damage or triple damage, but it's still okay. So yeah, this monster is a lot of damage boosting moves which do make him very very good for bounty hunts so definitely try to get this monster in the current bounty hunt and then go and use him in this bounty hunt and in future bounty hunts because he is a very good monster to use in bounty hunts and yeah that is pretty much the only reason you are going to be getting yoshi sama and the only reason you are going to be using him because his trait just doesn't make him good for normal pvp and neither do his moves really but he does have some great damage boosting moves and yeah they just make him really good for bounty hunts so yeah go and get yoshi sama and use him and yeah go ahead and put some good relics on him i would recommend a a stamina relic definitely the aoe stamina relic on the banner there's even a gold aoe stamina relic that you can put on the banner which is amazing definitely put that one on and then for staff probably removing stamina from the enemies and yeah that is pretty much all you need to know about yoshi sama let me know down in the comments if you guys are going to be getting him and i says in the next one over to like share and subscribe goodbye